Hello everyone and welcome to What Culture Comics. My name is Jules Gill and I'm joined via telecommunication device by my son, Ewan Patterson. Now, this is the first time that you guys have seen us in our, what I would say, uh, not bunker, but home studios, uh, thanks to the current situation that's going on at the moment, the real world events. So we are going to try and continue as per normal. We are safe, we are clean and healthy at the moment. But unfortunately, we do have a bit of troubling news, and that is to do with the current state of the comic book industry. Ewan, how are you? First off, fantastic moustache, daddy's proud. Oh, that's brilliant. That's the kind of validation I need right now. I'm here <laughs> all up in the content cave, nothing with my own thoughts to keep me company, and then you come in with that lovely compliment. That's really Your spirits good. are lifted straight up. Yeah, exactly. Uh, the thing is, is that uh, the current situation, things aren't doing too well. I mean, we're seeing industries sort of having to close their doors left, right and center at the moment to combat what's going on. And obviously we knew that the comic book industry was going to be hit at some point. Uh, I think that the troubling thing is just how far reaching this might be, like going forward. Because, I mean, what, like, because you were doing some notes and research on this, and it seems that, like, it's in the current trend is that uh, the majority of comic book stores and, uh, like, uh, resellers are being affected by this. Yes, yeah, you're completely right, Jules. I mean, even before the, the big news story today, which we'll get to in, into in a second, you know, we're already mm -hmm. seeing knock-on effects on different comic book stores, especially here in the UK, where, you know, footfall has decreased over the, you know, the past couple of weeks. And, you know, comic book stores are community centers. You know, they, they really they really benefit from having a local kind of uh, invested base that come in on the regular, you know, that goes across multiple countries or whatever. Mm -hmm. And obviously they've already been experiencing some decline from that. On top of the other myriad of issues that we've spoken about at length, years before you know talking about the rise of digital only sales the rise yeah. of the sort of different threats that really you know threaten to encroach you know the actual comics industry and now the the worst bit about this today is that diamond distribution has basically halted their shipping they're going to halt their shipping from april 1st onwards due to the current ongoing situation yeah. and that's going to be a really big issue because that effectively means that no new comics are going to be making their way to car book stores for the foreseeable future we don't really know when this is going to end um, yeah. so the, the the founder of diamond steve jeff i'll also get into you know how the distribution system works if there are any confusion kind of going over there yeah he basically said in light of the current situation my only logical conclusion is to cease the distribution of new weekly product until there is greater clarity on the progress made stemming the spread of this current ongoing uh, situation. And um, product distributed by Diamond and slated for an on-sale date of April 1st or later will not be shipped to retailers until further notice. So yeah, that basically means that no new product will be making its way to comic book stores for the, for the foreseeable future, yeah. which is a big deal. I think you can probably all understand. Oh yeah, I mean, I totally understand. Like, obviously it makes perfect sense as to why they're doing it, but it's the comic book industry, as we've been discussing a lot recently, it's, like you say, the digital distribution, it's great for fans to have media libraries that they can access anywhere on their mobile devices, but it has been cutting the legs out from underneath the actual, like, mum and pop stores and the uh, the comic book stores that are, are, have been around for years. Now, they've been fighting back, and it's been a hard battle, but they've done pretty well with lots of sort of like, you know, in-store events and stuff like that to make it feel special to go in and own the physical copy. All of the alternate artwork issues and stuff like that to make it feel like you're actually owning a piece that's worth collecting. And this is just, like, it's undoing everything like that straight away. I, I mean, I don't want to speculate which ones might be able to recover from this. I hope that some of the bigger chains uh, will be able to uh, bounce back from this. But some independent comic book stores, unfortunately, probably will not come back from this. Yeah, I mean, the big fear right now, of course, you know, we can't really speak for other governments, but obviously in the UK, mm -hmm. the government has announced a you know, range of different measures to really support businesses during this uh, the, the ongoing situation. So, you know, hopefully everything will be fine for the vast majority of stores but yeah. in the short term definitely they're going to experience a lot of pain um, and actually some of the publishers are taking some steps to basically alleviate the stress which is good yeah. to hear I do think more needs to be done and I'm going to talk a little bit as well in the, in, in, in the video about how you know we as comic readers can help these stores but certainly the burden of support must go towards you know governments and different policy makers yeah. and how to actually you know support them but anyway um, this is from Entertainment Weekly's article on um, Diamond basically 
you know, cease in the distribution. And they basically said that last week, Marvel announced it would be offering steep discounts on products for retailers and comics set to go on sale between March 18th and April 8th to help alleviate cash flow pressures and give retailers the flexibility to sell their product in response to customer demand as needed. Image comics have gone further declaring that all image comics set to be published between March 16th and the end of the month will be fully returnable. And the publisher also announced oh, they will be cutting down on planned upcoming releases, rescheduling some books and perhaps cancelling others. Now, the really important thing to note here is with the way that distribution works, you know, retailers are ordering products and they can't return them. It's not like another distribution system where you have books that are made to order. You know, you, comic shops and con the comics industry works by basically retailers ordering and being encouraged to order as much product as possible. Mm -hmm. And most of that is non-returnable. And that's why you get back issue bins where loads and loads and old comics are basically lining, you know, the walls of old comic book stores. Yeah. Um, so it's very, you know, it's a big move from Marvel to basically, you know, say that, you know, the, the, well, for, for Image as well to basically have, you know, the, the returnability going forward because that is such a big deal. Do you think that this is actually going to have a knock-on effect when everything's sorted out that will actually put power back in terms of the um, the comic book uh, supplies that are actually left? Because if you think about it, if they're in entering in negotiations now where uh, the bigger brands are starting to realize how much they have to rely on these physical uh, retailers. Do you think that maybe coming back they'll be able to negotiate better? Because I remember we, we had a discussion about uh, how some uh, comic book uh, retailers were hardballing their uh, suppliers because it was basically saying like, if you don't buy X of this stock, we're not going to work. Together. That was Marvel. It was Marvel yeah. basically, yeah, they do that whole thing where they basically they have retailer incentives where they basically encourage to basically, you know, take advantage of, the, of these of these small, you know, business yeah and the one thing that i think is really important to bear in mind now is you know people prophesize the doom of the comics industry every every 10 years or so and it's still not happened and the yeah. main reason why people should feel you know it's still a, a crappy situation for, for don't get me wrong but you know for marvel and dc and warner brothers and disney specifically these you know the comic system basically generates them free ip um, yeah. for their big blockbuster movies, so there's no issue there. My main concern currently is actually supporting, you know, the lifeblood of the industry, which is the actual comic book stores themselves. Mm -hmm. I mean, is this, uh, are there, what sort of uh, comic events are going on at the moment that might be completely undone? Is there any sort of like huge crossover events or stuff that will have to be completely rewritten? Do you well, think? obviously stuff is still going to go ahead. Like it's, it's still will all have been written. It's just the fact, yeah. you know, the, the issue currently is there is the, there's a lack of consensus in the industry right now from retailers on how best to proceed. Um, so there are definitely ways that we can help. One thing I would encourage people to do if mm -hmm. they can would be to avoid the big online retailers. And if your comic book store is offering curbside delivery or any kind of mail order delivery service to definitely go and support it you know even if you don't have new comics releasing every week that you can go check out there are still loads and guarantee there are thousands and thousands of comics that you can read for that have released over the past you know 50 or odd years that you'll definitely enjoy they'll definitely appreciate the business if they are still opening their doors That's i mean one. hell you might even have a chance to actually catch up on reading and actually catch up on the events that are going on i mean i'm actually taking this as a, a pseudo blessing in disguise for actually like the the amount of stuff that i've got to read and catch up on i've finally got time to actually sit down and do it yeah i'll touch on the kind of the, the breaking consensus from retail yeah. currently this is a really good article that news around ran yesterday and had a conversation with a comics retailer called joe field talking about how um this wednesday actually you know amazon owned comiXology are going to be releasing this week's comics digitally and they're going to continue to do that as well and field believes it would be best if everyone came together and basically stopped releasing a new product altogether, otherwise you would have a situation now where everyone switches towards digital. And yeah, and how do you come back from that? That would be a huge problem, obviously. Yeah. And I think it's a good way. It, obviously, if you already read your comics to digital means anyway, that's not going to because you know not everyone has access to a local comic book store. Yeah. You know, it's it's a very you know niche industry. You know, you can't find a comic book store in every single city. You're very lucky if you do have one. We're fortunate enough to have two. Um, but you know, it's still at the same time, if you do have the choice to support that local business, by all means, please do because they're depending on it. And I'm going to be very curious to see how, you know, Comixology and, you know, other kind of online outlets respond going forward. Yeah. You know, Field mentions in this discussion with Newsarama that if things continue and basically the publishers do shift to an 100% digital model for the foreseeable future, that'll have, quote, very difficult ramifications for many, many comic shops. 
Yeah, I mean, I'm hoping as well that uh, once this is over, we might be able to see some sort of like, because you know how they always release like compendiums and like uh, collectors sort of things. I'm hoping that we'll see like a big drive of them to sort of celebrate that they're back. So it really incentivizes going out and purchasing the physical copies, because that way, if you make a, the best of a terrible situation in terms of marketing going forward, that that's probably a way to, like you say, incentivize people to get back into the stores again. Yeah, you're completely right. I mean, we're, we're quite in I think a lot of, you know, obviously, because they've had to, a lot of stores in the UK have definitely shut down now. So there's yeah. no way of actually acquiring new product for, for a great many places here. Um, but for as long as these stores are offering, you know, mail order delivery, curbside pickup, and you are able to actually go and support them, I think it's a worthwhile thing to do because, you know, industries like car book shops, like cinemas as well, they're really going to count on our support kind of yeah, going yeah. through all of this and especially once we're out of it you know that's that's the main thing i think i should draw from here yeah definitely i mean so there you go that's a lot of stuff that we can do to make sure that the industry that we love keeps on ticking on but uh, yeah as uh, stuff develops we'll be sure to bring you the breaking news on there but remember if you enjoy comic books then remember just share your love go out and uh, use this opportunity to meet up with other fans as well there's so many facebook groups and uh, like other chat sites that you can now go on the Blue, like they're exploding because the amount of people that finally have time to actually chat to other people so go out there keep talking to people stay safe stay clean and we'll bring you the breaking news as always i've been jules you can go follow me at retro j with a zero over on twitter and you can follow my son at you and ruins things you're damn right you can hope you have a fantastic day whatever you're getting up to probably it being inside all things considered and we'll speak to you soon bye bye <laughs>